Hello YouTube. Uh, after looking all over YouTube on a video to find out how a Magna Helix works, I decided I was going to take it apart and figure it out myself and thought I'd put together a video and show any of you guys like me who are interested in how this thing works but doesn't really want to take apart your new Magna Helix. I just got a new one. This is the old one. Figured the, the top ring was already hand tight and loose, so I unscrewed it and pulled it apart. And this is what I found. Um, basically, this just sits on top. Uh, the adjustment screws right there fits into that little Allen screw to adjust the zero point. And this ring just screws onto the top and it holds that piece of plastic in place. Now, what's interesting about this gauge is the way that it works. It's obviously there's a, a diaphragm in there. Um, as you can see, well, you can't really see the diaphragm. I can't show you. It's basically a piece of plastic and a port on the top and a port on the bottom of the plastic. If you put pressure in the uh, in the, the bottom, it's obviously going to push the, the plastic up like that. And if you do it the other way, it's going to suck the plastic down the other way. So in the middle of that plastic, there's this piece. And that piece is connected to this magnet. If you can see there, the magnet is coated in a black plastic. And then, as you can see, it's... This is why they call it a magna helix. That black piece is the magnet. And see the helix that it's around, or the spiral? As the magnet moves up and down, it, it the magnetic field, see how it pulls the spiral to the magnet? And the gauge turns. So as the pressure moves the, um, the diaphragm in there, the magnet moves up or down. And as the magnet moves up or down, it turns the, the needle on the gauge. That is pretty neat. And the design of this thing hasn't changed in however long these have been around. This one's old, and the new one that I got has a pressure relief built into the back of it and everything, so... But other than the pressure relief built into the back of it, they work exactly the same, so obviously haven't had a problem with it, but I thought that was pretty cool. Decided I'd make a video for anybody else like me, just curious in these things. Wanted to see how it worked. Thanks for watching.